All right, another quick video here. We're sitting in an EC25, uh, EC225 Super Puma with a CME 9000 FMS. The FMS has just now been turned on. We're going to use the option called a moving waypoint. So a moving waypoint helps us in what we do because we fly to, to ships in the ocean and the ships are moving. So we need, if we have the information of the ship, their location and their course and their speed, we can program that into the GPS and then we can navigate to that waypoint that's moving across the ocean. All right, so to program a moving waypoint, we're going to select Mark. As you see, here's Mark right there. We're going to go Mark. That is the grid coordinate that was marked at. From there, we go to New Year's or Waypoint. Right now, it does not have a name. So in the top left corner, you see that, those five symbols. That just signifies that that waypoint does not have a name. To keep things simple, we could just name it 1. All right, so I'm going to go to the top left slide line key and I'm going to rename it. Well as you see it says fixed. It thinks it's a fixed waypoint. Well we know it's a moving waypoint. So if I select the line select key it's going to change that to moving. Alright. Now for example if I get the grid coordinates from the ship I can come in here into the scratch pad and I as long as I keep that grid corner format right there it will change it to that grid corner format and just remember, there's not a forward slash, it's a space between in that exact format right there. Now, let's say the ship is moving at 360. That's the course or the track of the ship. We're going to go forward slash, and now we want to put in the ground speed. So, let's say the ship is moving at 12 knots. We come up here to the right line select key. We put it in there. We're going to confirm. There we are. Now, when we want to track or navigate to that ship, we're going to select legs, and there's no leg selected. So in the scratch pad, we're going to put the name of the waypoint, one, we're going to put it in the top right there, and then we're going to push execute. And as I pull the camera out, you see here in our nav D, we have a rendezvous point and it thinks that the ship is moving so it's saying it's 0.5 nautical miles because it's tracking the movement of that ship so if we were outside it would actually draw a line of how to actually get to that waypoint there we go there's a moving waypoint